What is going on everybody? Mark here from NoisyPixel.net and today we have another unboxing review tech video here on Noisy Pixel because where else would you find the latest and greatest tech unboxings of the world? Anyway, today we have a brand new product from HP Omen. It is going to be a keyboard and that keyboard is Thank you, Omen, for sending this one out. I am hyped to try out a new keyboard, especially because of the size. I'm quite intrigued and also a little confused because it's one of those keyboards where it won't have a number pad. So it's very tiny, portable, if you're into that type of thing. But it does seem pretty cool and pretty nice. So we're gonna pop it open. And good thing I prepared myself with a blade because we do have two plastic tabs to bust through. So let's pop this bad boy open. In general, I would say the presentation and the box type they use is a little underwhelming. It's really nothing special. This type of box is just cheap material. But we do pop it open, and right there we have the board chilling. And we're going to just pop that man out right there. Or woman, I guess. I guess keyboards can be any uh, gender. Got some manuals. So we're just going to take this as like inner sleeve out. You do have your cable here, a braided cable, which is USB to USB-C. So praise to the USB-C movement. It's much better. And I do like the USB-C cable. They have this little dongle thing embedded in this unbreakable barrier of cardboard. But you just, nope, I ripped it open. We got the piece. You know, they keep sending me this piece and I keep not talking about it and honestly I haven't used it once but it looks like a USB-C to USB 2.0 adapter or a standard USB so if you want to tell me what it's for I really have never encountered a situation where I used it but I do appreciate free adapters always and they did provide us and I'm very happy about this a wrist guard and it's in this nice little wrapped plastic pouch it seems squishy, it seems comfortable, and there we go. Ooh, this is actually pretty nice, look at this. Look at this thing right here. It's got the logo in there, of course, they gotta put the logo, but it is this leather feeling. It's, it's quite exciting, honestly, to put that in there. I do like that, but nonetheless, we have not even shown you the keyboard because I've been holding out on the best part, and the reason you clicked on this video because I am savage. By the way, they did also provide you a little dongle here, the USB dongle for your wireless. And on that note, here's the board in the sleeve. Rip this open, because we have no patience here. And there it is. Here is the board, fresh out of the box, clean, no fingerprints, no oil, nothing. Just straight freshness. Look at this, the light. We're gonna give it the first click here. The first impressions click. On the back here, we do have the power button, and it looks like the USB um, wire slot. If you want to wire it, I suppose that is nice because this is a wireless keyboard. It does have 30 hours of battery life, that fact I know. To me, that doesn't seem like a crazy amount, but if you think about it, maybe this isn't your main keyboard, or maybe this is a portable one um, that you want to bring to your friend's house, or maybe it is your main one. You plug it in, it charges quick, and you have a full day of use. Anyway, you might be wondering at this point why I'm wearing two sweatshirts, and the answer is, sometimes I get cold very easily, and it is October in New York, so I mean, you can call me a baby, but just my body wants to be cold, so I like my two hoodies, keeps me warm. It is a solid material, it's like a plastic, but it's also, it feels very well constructed. It's almost like a Lego brick, it's just that solid. I feel like I can just like hit a baseball right now. It does have some rubber grips on the bottom here, as you can see, so that's nice, and they do seem quite rubbery, so it doesn't seem like you would be moving this by accident. What I just picked up on is that this actually does not attach. I, I, oh, it does, it attaches magnetically. So you can take it off pretty easily. That is actually pretty cool. I'm barely holding it together. I'm just like kind of supporting it so it doesn't fall off, because it is gonna fall off if I let go, but it kind of just sits there, which is cool. That surprised me, actually. I was like, there is no mount, so it's just gonna sit on my table with these uh, rubber grips on here, but nope, it attaches magnetically. Fun 
stuff omen thank you for watching the unboxing portion of this i can't wait to try it out and i can't wait to share my opinions on it i hope i like it and we will certainly go over all of its features and more so stick around for the next part of the video with the recent rebranding of hp omen we see various changes other than their art style omen has been releasing new products recently and what better way to continue the streak of new reveals with no other than a keyboard this new keyboard is the HP Omen Spacer TKL Wireless, a smaller board with style. As gaming peripherals and hardware get more popular, the demand for original and stylish desk tech rises, and HP Omen is here to deliver. The Spacer TKL board does nothing but impress me through its aesthetics. From the moment you put it on your desk and turn it on, the bright sharp LED lights on the keys catch your eye. The lights are noticeably brighter than other boards, and trust me, I've seen a decent number of RGB boards in my day. The look and feel is solid, with a rigid construction of composite materials and dense plastics. The keycaps feel smooth and comfortable to the touch, with a satisfying compressed sound. The HP Omen Spacer uses Cherry MX Brown switches for a fast response time to the screen. The magnet attachment for the wrist guard was a bit confusing to me at first, but it quickly became a joy to have. Suppose you want to move or remove the wrist guard, no need to lift the keyboard and detach it. The typeface design choice on the keys is modern, with a bold digital look adding to the gamer vibes. When it comes to RGB, you are very limited with customizability, as this keyboard only has white backlit keys with the WASD keys and arrow keys equipped with red backlighting. This is the only color option as it matches the Omen ecosystem and brand, and I am sure it keeps the cost down if you are looking for a cheaper wireless option with RGB in this nature. The keyboard is on the smaller side with no additional macro keys and no number pad. I miss the number pad a lot for more efficient professional workflow, but I appreciate the purpose of the keyboard size. It's portable, light, and doesn't get in the way like larger keyboards. It would be nice to see some extra macro keys, but luckily the Omen software allows for programmable function key overrides. We will get into the software later, but this keyboard has a button to open up the Omen software. This means no more searching for that application on your taskbar. I found this Omen key to be a great feature as my hardware ecosystem with Omen increases in size. Also, I found the rubber grips on the bottom to be very grippy, leaving my keyboard planted in one place. Strangely, there is a lack of kickstand adjustment options, and it can be frustrating even if this board is angled upward to compensate. I wish that it was slightly higher. Regardless, this is a small complaint about such a well-designed piece of hardware. Sometimes I just like to see a little kickstand. Since the Omen Spacer TKL came out strong with its stunning fashion, I was hoping the performance would match its looks, and I must say, it gets the job done. The keys are responsive, and the board is satisfying to play games with. Omen did a great job at the relative distance between the keys, as I am typing correctly without any growing pains. No typing mistakes on this board makes my job at writing this review so much easier. This isn't my favorite professional board, due to a lack of number pad alone. The size throws me off and slows me down. Still, I experience very little latency, if any, to the point where a typical user will see this mechanical board as responsive if you're trying to cast that final spell against your enemies. When it came to battery life, I experienced a few recharge moments during my times with the spacer so far. I ended up keeping my charge cable ready for emergencies, but the keyboard battery light does blink when low on battery. It is rather small, but I do see it in my peripheral vision when gaming. Although this keyboard wins on all fronts for performance, comfort, and style, a gamer's customizability lacks, especially within the software. You have no RGB options other than turning keycap backlights on and off, and save presets for specific games or game genres, such as MOBA or FPS. The presets turn all key lights off, other than the keys used for these games. So for MOBA games, the QWER keys are lit up while others are not. After some thought, I would like to see all my keys in the dark if I have to type to my team. This made me not really like the presets, but I like the idea of it being built in and ready inside the Omen software. You can also assign any key which you want as an override for not having macro keys on this board. So thank you Omen for that. Just don't forget your key assignments. The software also offers presets for reactive keyboard effects, such as the ripple effect when you type. Overall, there are little problems with the Omen Spacer TKL. The style is on point and modern, and the build quality is strong and durable. The keys feel great to the touch, performance is fantastic, and it's even wireless. If you're looking for a compact and portable set of keys, you will not be disappointed with this. If this is for your primary PC, I'd only recommend it if you are looking for a minimalist aesthetic. 
the lack of RGB options, macro customizability, media keys, and number pad for the price of $159.99 is a disappointment. Still, this keyboard is excellent and it has its place in my heart. I really do love it. I just find it a bit expensive for the average consumer for what you get out of it, both software and hardware features. Noisy Pixel is giving the HP Omen Spacer TKL wireless keyboard an A. Thank you for watching. This has been Mark with a Noisy Pixel Tech Review, and we are a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content. See ya, nerds.